Today I'll be installing this 27 watt tankless electric water heater. For this installation, you'll need three 40 amp two pole breakers and some eight gauge wire. I'll be installing this evening tide using PEX pipe. So I purchased these two PEX adapters to install at the bottom of the water heater. I'll be starting this installation by mounting the water heater inside. All the mounting hardware is included and it's easy to install. I'm dry fitting the water heater where I want it to go and making sure I have the proper clearance on all sides. Start with the top bracket and mark the holes with a pen or a marker. If you measure 12.08 inches from the top hole, you'll get the exact location of the bottom bracket hole. Mark this bracket the same way as before. Then we can drill out the four holes. Now I'm inserting the plastic wall hangers. Make sure the holes are drilled deep enough and are not too wide. The anchor on the left is not installed properly. Let's fix that. When you insert the screws, the plastic anchors will open up inside the wall, making a secure connection. Once you've installed the two brackets, the water heater will slip right on. Now that the water heater is in place, I'll be moving on to the electrical portion of the installation. Before doing any electrical work, it's important to turn off the main breaker to your panel. This appliance requires three 40 amp two pole breakers, so make sure your panel has enough space. If you're unsure about this, please consult an electrician for this part of the installation. I'll be using this liquid tight conduit system to bring my eight gauge wires to the panel. This particular fitting is one inch, so I'm taking out a one inch knockout from the bottom of the panel. Make sure the lock ring is installed tightly on the fitting. This flexible conduit is completely waterproof and is perfect for the outside portion of this installation. I'll be running three separate 8-2 wires, one for each breaker. Once the wires are run through the conduit, you can strip back the insulation and get them ready to connect. Here's a better look at the three sets of wires. Each breaker will get a black wire, a red wire, and they also have their own ground. I find it easier to first install the breaker then connect the two wires. Make sure the wires are inserted completely and tighten them down securely. Repeat the same process for the other two breakers. Now I'm connecting each ground wire to the ground bar. This is pretty similar to installing the wires to the breakers. Now I'm installing this junction box so I can pull my wires through the wall. Make sure you pull enough wire through so you can easily install to the water heater. The wires will go through those two metal clamps at the bottom. To gain access to the control panel, I need to remove the front cover. This is done by taking off these four screws. Careful, the front cover is attached with this clip. I'm loosening the wire clamps so that the wires can fit through easily.
Once you've pulled all your wires through, you can now tighten the clamps. In some cases, it may be better to leave these loose until the wires are connected to the water heater. Here you can see the three pairs of wire that are coming from the electric panel. I'll be connecting them to this terminal block, just like the sticker shows. This part can be a little tricky, so I'm using my pliers to hold the wire in place. Once the red and black wires are all connected, you can grab all three ground wires and twist them together. I left one wire longer than the rest, so I can easily connect it to the grounding terminal. This pretty much concludes the electrical portion of this installation. If you're experiencing any issues with the water heater, this is where you'll find the reset button. Now I'm replacing the front cover. Don't forget to reattach that cable. Plumbing the water heater is pretty easy. I'm starting with the hot water side. Since I'm using PEX pipe, I just needed to connect this 3 quarter to half inch PEX adapter. For the cold water side, it's recommended that you have a screen or filter to catch any debris. This is the same fitting as the hot water side. 3 quarter pipe to half inch PEX. Now simply insert your cold water inlet pipe and repeat the process with the hot water outlet pipe. I'm now turning on the water and checking for any leaks. If nothing is leaking, you can go back out to the electrical panel and turn on all three 40 amp two pole breakers. At this point, it's now safe to restore power to the main breaker. When you first power on the water heater, it'll display the inlet water temperature. This water heater has a few different modes and is extremely efficient. It provides on-demand hot water to your entire home instantly, and you can even fine-tune the temperature of your hot water. This unit will easily heat your water to well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This water heater can even display the water flow. There on the top left corner of the screen, you'll see 2.4 gallons per minute going through the water heater. Now I have on-demand hot water throughout my entire home. If you'd like to learn more about this water heater and other products from Ethereal, check out the link below. And thanks for watching.